Okay, I have one more problem here. This is still this topic, uh, composition of two functions advanced, but I didn't realize on the other page I had another problem. So they're wanting us to find g of h, and then they're wanting us to find the domain of g of h, okay? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say h is the inside function. So we're gonna plug that in the inside. And then when we plug it in, we're gonna have um, the square root of x minus four squared minus three. And then over here for the domain, um, this will simplify, but when you're doing the domain, you actually have to figure out the domain before you cancel this out. It's not like the other two problems where I didn't need to cancel anything. I was literally just distributing and combining like terms. Same thing here, just combining like terms. So I never had to cancel anything. So if you do have to cancel something, um, then you want to make sure that you're finding the domain first before you do cancel it. So the inside function is h. So then what is the domain of h? The domain of h is going to be um, from wherever x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. So when x is greater than or equal to 0. So that means from 0 to infinity. Or I'm sorry, not 0. If I add 4 over, I get 4. So from 4 to infinity. So this is my potential domain. I just need to make sure that nothing here is going to happen. And actually, you don't need to do that at all. If I cancel this, x minus 4, and then my minus 3 on the outside, and then I get x minus 7. You don't need to worry about that. Because I'm already doing the domain of the inside function, it already kind of takes care of itself. Okay? So if I look at this, right, this is uh, g of h. If I look at this, this has a domain of negative infinity to infinity. Okay, it just does. I can plug anything in a minus 7 and I'll get an answer. However, this is the potential domain. Now, this is more than what is here, but I can't have anything. This is supposed to be my no domain minus whatever is bad over here. And since nothing is bad over here, then this is the domain of, f of, of g of f. So the domain of g of h, sorry, is going to be 4 to infinity, okay? I'll go over that logic again one more time. The inside function is supposed to be your potential domain. This is the domain of g of h. However, you do have to take out any values that don't lead to a final output, right? But this one led to okay outputs. This one would have had an output no matter what g was. However, the only x values that I was ever plugging in here were these x values, okay? And so it's okay that even though throughout all these x values, this is the kind of answers I could end up with, I still have to just use my potential domain, okay? Same thing with these. The inside function, this was my potential domain, but because this f of g was a little bit different, I had to exclude some of the values. So anything that would have made the inside negative had to be removed from this potential domain. And I did that. Anything that was less than negative 5 would have been bad, okay? So I just said that everything bigger than negative 5 is good. Now, over here, same thing. I took the inside function and took that domain. So this is my potential domain. But it just so happens that the x value 1 would have given me no output. So that's the one x value that needed to be removed from the potential domain. And so here, this is my potential domain, but I didn't get anything that needed to be removed from that potential domain, which means that that potential domain turned into my actual domain of g of h.